success, the accomplishment of an aim or purpose. Hi guys, um, just wanted to come on here to talk to you a bit about a few things I wish I knew in my 20s or I wish I did in my 20s. Um, so I wanted to start with success. Success is a relative term. It's the achievement of a purpose or a goal. Um, and since success is a relative term, it means that it is what that means to you. Success doesn't mean the same thing to everybody. Uh, so find your definition of success and pursue it. And I don't mean your mom's definition or your dad's definition. I mean yours because uh, happiness through success cannot be achieved if you're doing what somebody else wants. Uh, and success doesn't mean that you have to have a degree. It doesn't mean that you have to have achieved something by a certain age. It means that you have to have achieved something that you would like. So Find your definition of success and pursue it. For some people, success is that degree, and that's fine. For some, success is being an expert at something, finding their soulmate. It's different stuff depending on the person. The next thing I wanted to touch up on is life is fleeting so make it count life is very short we don't live that long if you think about it i'm not trying to be pessimistic but it's true uh, life is short start doing what you want to day start planning for it write it down write down how you're gonna get there because one day you're going to realize you're 50, 55 years old and you did nothing with your life and you did none of the things that you want. As simple as things you might want to do on the weekend. If you want to go, let's say, rock climbing or kayaking, if you've never done anything like that, bungee jumping, pick a weekend, get the money for it, plan around it, and like that, you do get things done. Uh, otherwise, we're the kind of people that think, oh, you know, someday I'll do it or eventually I'll do it or when I have time, I'll do it. But we don't get around it. That kind of reminds me of that song called Time in a Bottle where he says there never seems to be enough time to do the things you want to do once you find them. And that is 100% true. So again, life is short. Make it count. You only live once. Stop victimizing yourself. When we're young, oh, there's a little ladybug. Stop victimizing yourself. Stop victimizing yourself. When we're young, we have a tendency to, you know, think, why us? Why is this happening to me? But in all honesty, you're not the only person that has been through stuff. Everyone has been scarred by something in life. So, are you going to let that define you? No, right? So, bad experiences that you've had, use them to your advantage. Use them for strength. Use them to help others who have gone, gone through similar things, or maybe not similar, but to give others strength as well. Because the past is past, is done, you can't do anything about it, don't dwell on it, accept it, and let it go. Move on. And don't forget to be nice to people. You don't know what people are going through that day or at a specific time in life. You don't know what people are going through. Have that kindness in you to treat others nicely. Um, treat others the way you like to be treated. Stop comparing. This is not a competition. Don't compare your life to the life of others because at the end of the day we're all going in a different direction at a different pace uh, only person you should be competing with is the old you for a better you only person you should be competing with is yourself 
to ensure that you better yourself. You can't go and live someone else's life, so why are you going to compare it? To top it off, a lot of uh, other people's lives on the outside, it looks like they're perfect. They got all this going on. Um, they got all the perfect life, you know, the white picket fence, however you want to call it. But in reality, everybody has problems. So don't envy people and uh, don't compare yourself with those people because you don't know what their problems are. You don't know what they go through. You don't know. So embrace your life, cherish your life and do something about it. But don't compare yourself with others because envy isn't good. Learn to let go. When you're young, you have a tendency to think that things that happen to you are such a big deal. Well, they're not. As you get older, you'll realize that all those things that you thought were such a big deal are not one big, big deal and they don't matter as much. So if someone wants to be part of your life, they will make sure that they are there in your life. If someone doesn't want to be part of your life, then they won't be. Let them go. Let go of toxic people. Let go of people that just don't bring anything positive to your life. If you want to try something out and it doesn't seem to work out for you or you realize you don't like it, stop because stop wasting your time. Move on to something else that interests you and keep going. Don't think that because I've gotten this far, although I don't like this, I'm going to keep going because I need to finish this. No, you don't. So just stop and find something new that you like. You don't have to finish that if you don't enjoy it. Um, another thing is negativity. <laughs> the quicker you let it go, the better. Anything, people that are negative, things that are negative in your life, just get rid of all that. It's not good for you anyway. We have this habit of holding on to things that just don't do us any good again. Um, we need to learn to let go of things because life is short, like I said before. And once it's gone, it's gone forever. And that is depressing. So use your time wisely. Do the things you want to do. Give yourself a chance to know you. So you know what you want in life. So you get it done. So you pursue it. I have notebooks for everything. And I write everything down for that reason. Because like that, you actually go after what you want. And you want to live your best life, right? So get it done. Again, like I said before in my other video, don't be lazy.